All right, so we've got this sign um, now in front of us and we're gonna begin the painting process. And I've got uh, multiple colors I'm gonna be using. So the customer gave me um, kind of what they wanted to see and this, there's gonna be a background color, there's gonna be letter colors, multiple background colors. But to start with, when it comes to painting a sign like this, we need to seal this thing. And I've got just a simple spray lacquer. We're gonna spray three coats of this lacquer on here to seal this sign, because if you don't seal it, when you begin painting and spraying multiple colors and sanding the colors, when you see how I go about sanding this so I get the color off after I sprayed one layer of it, it'll absorb into the wood and it'll be really difficult to sand. You'll have to sand way too much of the wood down. So you wanna seal it first. So this is just, I went down to my local hardware store. I've got a, um, says clear mat. This is basically a fast drying lacquer. So I'm just gonna take and spray this whole thing, uh, three coats and let it dry. It's gonna dry really fast and then we'll begin um, the painting process after that. So it's nothing difficult. You um, might want to wear a respirator if you're concerned about you know, breathing these products in. I can't um, talk and spray at the same time. I'm just going to spray all the edges, spray everything on this sign with this clear lacquer. I do have a sander. I'm going to be doing some sanding. You can do sanding by hand with this as a sponge, but I'm going to be sanding. This is going to make it really fast using some type of orbital sander. This is a three by four sander um, from Ecosan. I'll be using some Ecosilk pads. I'm going to be doing the initial sanding with an 80 grit sandpaper. So get a coat on here and then I'm going to let this dry. And then the first step of the process, we have a background down here. The background, the customer wanted it to match his trailer and he wanted kind of like an off-white color. So I'm gonna be spraying my off-white color background first. So I'm gonna let this dry, spray um, one more coat on it, um, two more coats on it, and then we'll go um, begin with our white cream colored background. All right, so I've got my sign. It's outside, so it'll dry a lot faster in the sun. It's a nice uh, sunny day. So I sprayed two more coats outside, so it'll dry really quickly. Lacquer dries extremely fast. So it's got three coats on it. We're gonna bring it back in here in just a minute, and we'll begin the background color. I grabbed a couple other supplies. When it comes to doing the very top lettering, you can actually sit there and hand brush them. Painstakingly take a long time to hand brush them or we can just roll them. And what I'm gonna do is I've got these uh, weenie rollers right here, and these are foam weenie rollers. And if you don't put a lot of pressure, you could load up one of these rollers and carefully just roll all the letters all at once. And you can do it a lot faster than hand brushing them. Like if you wanna just sit down at a table, get a light and a small artist brush, hand brush them because um, that's what you wanna do for the evening. You can always do that. I'm gonna show you a way that I'm gonna do them really fast. Um, and easy with these little foam rollers. And I do have spray cans because of the colors that they, the customer chose. I couldn't find any colors in cans um, to um, dump out to load up my weenie rollers, but I did find them in spray cans. What I was actually looking for color-wise is one of them is the Ford logo. This is gonna be the blue background and this is gonna be the silver lettering. When I do the rolling of those letters, I'm just gonna spray the can onto into my roller pan right here just unload a bunch of the paint out of there and just load it into my roller and then roll the face of the letters so let me go out grab my sign bring it back in and let's do the background all right here's the sign it's got three coats of our clear matte lacquer on it now and now we're gonna what we want to do is the very deepest background right here this is going to be our cream color and i don't want the cream color on the edge, I can get it on the edge and just sand it. It's easier just to throw some tape on that edge. And I don't want to have to sand um, or get it on the background of the um, Ford logo or the top of the Ford. It'll be a lot easier. I can just mask that off really quick. So there's some things masking will work a lot faster. There's some things sanding will work a lot faster. And you just kind of got to determine. But you can see I can just take and quickly throw some frog tape, you know, on this edge. That way I don't get any of the white on this edge right here. 
and it'll actually curve around. There's curved portions, and this is frog tape, and it um, has like paint block technology on it, and paint won't bleed underneath the tape because the edge of the tape has a polymer on it that swells up. So I'm just gonna mask this off really quick here, and you can see this process. Um, there we go, we've got our edges now just about masked off. There we go. It would happen really fast if you just wanted the background black, which is a lot of um, times that's what you see with these signs, that the, you spray the background now black, a flat black, then you sand off the top, the lettering stands out, and then you would be done. Here we got this Ford logo. So now I'm just, it's a round logo, so I'm just gonna mask right around the edge of this logo and the lettering because we don't want we don't really want anything on the Ford portion and we don't want to have to do any sanding of that at all right now so uh, you can see this goes really quick masking wise now I'll just throw some over the top the Ford right here. And now we're ready to spray our white background. Let's see, there it is. And we'll spray it, I'm gonna spray it right here. And once again, I'll just take it outside and then I'm gonna let it dry outside because it's really warm outside. Uh, this is the cream color. This is a metallic um, cream color right here that, um, that I chose for the background. And the, it was, he wanted it to match his trailer. And the trailer was a cream color. So shake this up. And you don't want to spray on a heavy coat. If you spray it on really heavy, it's going to take a whole lot of sanding to get it off the tops of your letters. So I'm just going to kind of like mist it in this area just to get the background coated. Some metallic color, so it's and being cream, it's not going to cover. It's going to take probably several coats to get this to cover. So I got there's one coat on that, and I'm going to take that out, let that dry, and then we'll spray another coat. Okay, we set it out in the sun to dry. Just to spray another coat on here. You can see it's starting to get that cream metallic look on the back. I'm gonna let that dry. Probably spray one more coat. All right, I got two coats of the background on and I'm actually liking the background not being 100% opaque. You can actually see the wood grain through, yet it's um, giving me that cream color look, metallic look. So I'm not gonna try to cover it 100%. I'm gonna give it um, one more coat, let this dry thoroughly. You don't want uh, this to be wet at all because if you start sanding and it is wet, you're gonna get um, dust um, and sawdust and stuff stick to uh, your background color. So I'm gonna spray one more coat. Set it out in the sun, let it dry, and just make sure you can touch the letters because you're gonna be sanding those. And if it's tacky at all, you don't wanna be sanding it. All right, there we go, three coats. Gonna go set it outside, let it dry, and we'll be back. All right, our cream color, metallic cream, is dry now. Now, what I'm actually gonna do, instead of sanding the letters, I'm gonna peel this off because we've got to do the background of the Ford logo. So I'm going to pull that off and leave this stuff on. I'm going to just mask around here and I'm going to spray this blue now. So the background of the Ford will be done. So I'm just going to take some frog tape and begin masking this off. 
because they don't want to get any overspray or any paint down here on this, um, our metallic cream color. So we'll get this, just mask it nice and tightly. Once again, this frog tape will help any bleeding from stopping down here. tape does bend um, fairly well, but when I get around this corner, I'll just have to tear a lot of little pieces to work around this corner. I'm going to push them up against that edge so it doesn't bleed down that edge. You can kind of see that. So you just want to get a nice tight fit and we'll see how See how well, if any of the blue does bleed underneath there, we can always touch it up at the end. When this is all done with just a little artist brush, we just take an artist brush, put some of the spray paint on the artist brush, and then touch it up. Let's see. This is working pretty well here. Do you have some frog tape blue, which is actually less expensive than the frog tape green because it comes in contractor packs. I'm just gonna use the inch and a half to fill this in a little bit faster. All right, I think we got that masked off nice and tight. Now, if you're really worried about overspray getting on around the rest of it, you can throw some paper, plastic, or cardboard down on that to cover that all up. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna mat mist on the background of our Ford logo. Now, I don't wanna put it on heavy. This is gonna cover a lot better than the pearl color. If you put it on too heavy, you definitely will get some bleed, bleed through around those edges. So just a light mist is all we want to do. So it looks like I got, it's looking good right there. All right, we have our blue all sprayed now. So the blue is on there and we had to let the sign dry for um, quite a few hours because we didn't want to take and risk sanding the top right here, the tops of the letters, and get any dust tacked to our background. So it took a little bit longer for it to dry, but it is all dry now. I could go about painting the numbers now. I could take my roller and just roll the tops of, or not the numbers, but the letters, roll the tops of the letters or I could sand the tops of the letters. I'm gonna show you, it all depends on you know, what colors and what the end result of your, your sign is gonna be like. A lot of um, signs I see, they've got a black background, then they sand um, the black right off the top of the letters and they leave it right as, because then the letters are kind of a white color because the wood is light and it stands out really well. I could go ahead and actually roll paint over the letters, but I'm gonna show you what the sanding uh, process looks like right now. I'm just gonna clean off my table, get rid of all this stuff that I don't need to use now, and we'll begin the sanding process. I have a little Eka Sand, four, um, three by four sander right here. I'm gonna be using an 80 grit uh, sandpaper on the Eka Sand to sand those uh, letters off. And if you have an orbital sander or some type of um, sander like this, it's gonna make the sanding process significantly faster than trying to do it by hand, but you can do it by hand if you want to. So I'm just gonna put some lids back on the products that I've used and don't need anymore. My um, letters on top, my, my Ford letters are gonna be silver, and then that's what matches the Ford um, emblem. Uh, the brown, the letters, the power stroke parking only is going to be done in this brown. So now let's begin 
the sanding process right here. So here's the three by four sander, just got a um, Ecosilk 80 grit sanding uh, pad right here. And we'll begin sanding this. Now I got to all the bottom letters sanded off and here's a couple pointers and I did spray the background. I used a um, metallic product um, from um, Home Depot uh, Rust-Oleum product right here and it was a like a semi-gloss product and it had some sheen to it. it. Makes sanding really difficult. It clogs up your sanding pads you know, really bad when it comes to sanding because it just um, melts, gets soft, clogs the sanding pads. If you're gonna do any type of sanding of any of the letters and stuff, you really should use a flat paint because it won't actually clog up the, um, the sandpaper. It'll just powder up and sand really fast. So it took me a handful of um, sanding pads to actually sand those letters. So I didn't really need to sand them because I'm just gonna be rolling over the top of them with my um, color for my letters. So. I'm going to begin, but I just wanted to show you the sanding process of what it would look like. I could leave those letters the way they are now, could paint the background. There's just a lot of, um, a lot of you know, opportunities to do different types of colors and different color schemes on the sign. But I'm going to now do the letters. I'll do the letters in my brown Rust-Oleum color, and um, I'm going to be rolling them with this roller right here just with a flat roller right on the top and I'm going to be putting the paint in a pan and it, the color that I actually needed I could not find it in anything but a spray can so I'm just going to spray a bunch of it into the pan load up my roller and then roll it on from there so just begin spraying load up a whole bunch of it it's not going to take very much at all to paint these letters so begin the process just putting some in this pan right now. But I don't want it on here too heavy. So now I'm just going to lightly go over the top of it, right? Just like this, let it soak in and then move on. I don't want to put any pressure on it. Just um, let it roll over the top of your letters. Let's see how it's coming out right there. That way I don't have to sit there and painstakingly hand brush every one of them. I can just roll it really quickly. And 
this is actually coming out better and easier than I thought. Not like the rest of the sign. The sign has actually posed a few challenges here and there, trying to do it in some different uh, metallic products and stuff versus, you know, flat paints. But this is, these letters on um, being metallic is gonna give it kind of a cool looking finish here. Just take your time. You can see this is only just a couple minutes doing this versus sitting there and hand brushing every one of those with the artist brush. So that's all done there now. Just like that, power stroke is done. I think I'll probably do, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do my border in yet. I'll do my other letters here, the F350. My F350 will look a little bit different because it was, I didn't sand those because um, I wanted them to look slightly differently so they'll have a metallic finish underneath and over the top. Now those numbers all, all done. So far what it's looking like. Now I'm gonna do the same, same technique for the Ford part. I'm using a different roller to do the silver four. Now just to give the outline, I'm just taking some Rust-Oleum flat black. So I just wanted that to just stand out a little bit differently. And I'm just rolling, I mixed it with some of the brown to kind of give it flat black and a brown look to it. So it'll blend nicely. Luckily. 
I definitely would wear a respirator if I was doing this for a living every day or quite often. I'd be definitely using a respirator. I got to be able to talk to you, tell you what I'm doing. So I'm making a little bit of a sacrifice to give you this information and not wearing a respirator. But once again, um, always a good idea to wear a respirator. So I just about got the edges all done and that is turning out pretty nice. How to do a sign fast, the easy way without using a bunch of little artist brushes. So, and using multiple colors, you know, all at once. So there you have it. How to paint a sign quickly and efficiently my way. It's not necessarily the right way, just the way that I came up with. I've done a few of them. I haven't done a whole lot. I actually did some different things when it came to painting this because it was just different than what I used to do. And um, I just tried out some different you know, techniques. One of the things I realized is this um, metallic coating right here does not sand very well. Typically when I've painted signs in the past, uh, little wood signs like this, it was always flat paint that sanded you know, easily, but it ended up turning out very well using these um, foam rollers right here, made painting the letters extremely fast. You know, hopefully if you've enjoyed this video, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, give me a, um, not a thumbs up, but hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. If you don't hit the notification bell, and just the subscribe button, you won't get notified every time I come out with a new video. It's free, simple, easy to do. It doesn't cost you anything. If there's any tools in this video that I've used that we do sell in our store at Paint Life, um, at the store.theidahopainter.com, not Paint Life, store.theidahopainter.com, we'll put them down in the video description below, and you can also find our shirts, hats, and pretty cool Paint Life gear and accessories there on our store. Hopefully you'll see you on our next video. Out.